everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, I am finally going to be updating you on these travel spray perfumes that I hauled from during the Sephora spring sales event. I've been trying them out, I've been making up my mind. Do I want a full bottle? What are my thoughts? I don't know. So I'm gonna just update you on my thoughts on some of these fragrances that I purchased. Now the first one fragrance we're gonna talk about is the Perfume Oil from Nest, and this is the Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil. Now this oil, is described as a fresh solar with keynotes of coconut, solar frangipani, and creamy sandalwood. To me, this is a warm, woody, creamy, beachy coconut scent. And y'all, when I first smelled this, it immediately reminded me of the Madagascar vanilla perfume oil from Nest. I mean, immediately. I mean, to me, just add more coconut to that Madagascar vanilla, and they're almost the same, almost the same, in my opinion, when I was when I first smelled this. So if you like the Madagascar vanilla you're more than likely gonna like the Balinese coconut and vice versa. If you just haven't smelled the vanilla and you like this one, you probably like the Madagascar vanilla one too. Now, this oil lasts about six to eight hours on my skin. It layers well, you know, with different fragrances, which is important to me because I'm not one that usually I'm just putting on a fragrance oil. If I'm just putting on a fragrance oil, that means usually I'm just staying at the house or I'm not doing a lot or, I don't, or I'm in a mood where I don't want to smell something heavily on me. But fragrance oils for me are for layering. So that's important to me that it layers well with different fragrances. So I like this oil, but at this time, I'm not interested in getting a purchasing the full bottle of this which is around a hundred dollars i i don't know yet it's nice but a hundred dollars is steep to me for these oils and i i'm gonna have to be absolutely obsessed and in love with the oil for me to purchase it for a hundred dollars now, I do like this one. Will it change after I use it up? Maybe more in the summer when I'm using it more? Because uh, this year I am craving more coconut fragrances. So I know I'm going to be using this quite a bit. So that might change. But at this time, I like it. If you love the, the Nest Perfume Oils, I would say definitely give this a try. If you love coconut, I would say give this a try. If you love the Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil, I would say definitely give this a try. Because the Nest Perfume Oils are great. They're of high quality. They're luxurious. They last long. They smell good. They all smell good. It's just depending on what you like the most. So yeah. I think this is a good perfume oil, but at this time, I'm content with my roller ball. Okay, the next perfume we're going to talk about is one that has five stars on Sephora. I have heard, I don't think I've heard one person say anything bad about this perfume, and I've heard so much about it that I said, okay, I give. I give! And I put it in the cart before the sale was over at Sephora. And this is the Dolce by Rosie Jane perfume. And as you can see, it's got a pretty substantial dent in it. So this perfume, Dolce by Rosie Jane, is of the warm and sweet gourmand category. It has keynotes of vanilla, chocolate, and hinoki wood. And I'm wearing this today. This perfume, Dolce to me smells like a vanilla chocolate swirl ice cream waffle cone. 
with some some woodiness in there, some freshness. It this has a a cleanness, a freshness, like a skin scent type of fragrance that to me quite a few clean fragrances can have. And it was hard for me to form an opinion on this perfume because I had heard vanilla ice cream, caramel cookies, cookie, chocolate, this, that. And then so I'm thinking super sweet, thick, you know, and I was like, Shall I say, why are you purchasing this in the spring, summer? But then I heard vanilla ice cream and I said, oh, you smell like vanilla ice cream anytime. So I got it. But the person who helped me put this fragrance into perspective was Miss Joanna. And I will have her channel in the description box below. Love her channel. Watch all her videos. This, she said this after she sprayed it and tried it. She was like, this perfume smells to me of a clean type of skin scent, vanilla type fragrance. And I was like, oh, the light, ding, 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 Miss Joanna. Because I was like, I am not getting all of these things that people are saying about this perfume. I don't think sweet, delicious gourmand. I do not when I smell Dolce. I would put it in the category also of Kaoli Pistachio Gelato. I think it's 33 because that is very light and airy gourmand scent. This to me, if you're going to say it is warm, but it has, it's, it's like a second skin type of scent to me. It's you smell warm and vanilla and chocolatey and it's got a little spiciness to it because when I spray this, I'm sneezing. And I do that also with Kaoli Vanilla 28. And so I, she just, I was just like, that's perfect because that is what I get. And it took me, uh, took her saying it for me to go, yes, that's what you're getting, Shaughnessy. Clean. It's, um, this is a type of scent you could wear any time of the year because it's okay let me get into this this lasted dolce lasted for me six to eight hours i don't feel like it projected much at all i don't feel like it has a lot of a siage i i don't feel, this is one people have to come close to you in your bubble you know if if somebody's near you you're gonna smell nice sweet and kind of like just you smell good. It's kind of that type of fragrance. It doesn't smell to me perfumey per se. It smells like maybe you use uh, body care and it all came together to give you this scent, this fragrance. Because, yeah, it, it's to me, I just, from what I heard and from what I about, people what they feel about how this smells i just didn't get it until miss joanna so if you wanted something skin like but with the gourmand aspects choc vanilla chocolate because i don't get a ton of chocolate i get hints of it it's it's a warm vanilla chocolatey and I don't know if that wood is making me think of a of a waffle cone coming through I, I don't know because this is not what I think of as edible. Like when I smell this, when I think of gourmands, usually I'm thinking edible. When I smell this, it doesn't make me want to eat this at all. Because it does have that skin-like quality to it, but with sweetness. To me, it's a skin like a your skin but better but with a sweet undertone that that's what this fragrance is to me so thank you miss joanna because this was giving me to run around for a minute because i was like i don't i don't get cookies i don't get caramel i mean i get vanilla but i, was, I kept thinking skin and it just wasn't connecting with me until she said that so 
don't know if I want a full bottle of this yet. This is gonna have to be a perfume I finish up and by the time I finish the travel spray, I will know. Sometimes I know immediately I don't want a full bottle of this after testing it out. Sometimes I know immediately I want a full bottle of this. And sometimes I got to wait till I finish it all the way up because it's a scent that I just can't fully grasp do I want it in my collection. And that is what this Dolce is. I like it, but do I want a full bottle of it? Will I wear it enough if I purchase a full bottle of it? I don't know yet. We will find out and you will find out in, in an empties video whenever I finish it. So those are my thoughts on the Dolce by Rosie Jane perfume. Next, we're going to talk about a fragrance that was super duper hyped on YouTube. This is Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. And again, there you can see pretty substantial dent. Now, this fragrance was released this year. It's described as a floral fruity gourmand for men and women. It has keynotes of peach, white musk, and black currant. Okay, to me, this is a predominantly fruity, musky fragrance with some sweetness. I don't know why they call this sparkling sugar. Maybe it's super sweet to some people, but to me, it is very musky. It is very fruity. Um with a hint of sweetness but not like i don't think oh sugar sugar I, I don't i don't feel that when i smell this now when i wore this tried it out a few times i feel the same way about this perfume as i did when i hauled it in whatever i'll, I'll try to link it above if i can remember when i initially smelled it i feel the exact same way it is nothing to me to my nose, to my collection, special or unique, especially after all the hype I felt like this got on YouTube. I watched, I don't know how many videos trying to decide if I wanted to try this out and everybody loved it. Everybody, they were just like, oh, it's so good, it's so girly. And I get that, it, it does have that girly, fruity quality to it, but it's just not, unique to me and that's my opinion everybody smells things differently that's the wonderful thing about fragrance everybody interprets fragrance differently body chemistry plays a part in what you're smelling how you're feeling when you're wearing a particular fragrance but for me uh clean reserve sparkling sugar it is nice but I just, I, I was not blown away with it. And after wearing it, I'm really not blown away with it because this doesn't have any lasting power at all. And in my notes, I have that in all caps. I mean, y'all know, if you watch me, I am not the type that it must last. <laughs> you know, the fragrance must last. I'm not like that. If I get decent wear, I might not be happy, but if I love the way it smells, I'm content. You know, I'm, I'm okay with working with it, getting it to last, what doing what I have to do. Sparkling sugar! This didn't even last on me. I felt like a full hour. I sprayed myself down. I don't remember one day I'm driving to work and I'm like, did I spray anything on me? Because usually as I'm driving to work, I can smell myself all the way to where I get to work, when I smell myself for a few hours, usually. Not with this one, it felt like it was poof, gone. Just gone within the first hour of wearing. That was me sniffing my skin, being like, is it there? And I could get a, the barest hint of it. So, uh-uh, that's a huge no for me. Within an hour, and this is a hundred and something dollars for the full size, because you, you won't need the full size to spray yourself and your skin, I mean, your skin and your clothes down with this. And then you're gonna need to bring it with you to touch up. That was my experience. So, uh-uh. I don't love this scent enough. It's not unique enough to me to wanna fool with trying to get it to last longer. I, I, no, 
it, no. So this is a one and done for me after I finish this travel spray because I have never had a perfume not last a few hours on me. I can't remember one in my life. <laughs> and this is, this is the one that it just didn't last for me. Now I've heard other people, I don't think they had that problem. That's why I said you have to make your decision, try it out for yourself. I would definitely suggest getting the travel spray. This is $29 and seeing what you feel about this, how it lasts for you to determine if you love the way this smells, which size you would get. Because if I love the way this smelled and I wanted to get a full bottle of this, I would have to get 3.4 ounce because I, it's no way. It's no way. Because I, I like to smell myself and I did not with this. I mean, not enveloped at all. I mean, it seemed like when I sprayed it and got in the car from leaving my house, I was like, where is it? And that is the first time I've ever had that experience with a perfume. So I do not want a full size of this. I, I wish I loved it and it performed like it does for other people who love this, but this is a no for me, Sparkling Sugar by Clean Reserve. Okay, the last fragrance we're gonna talk about today is Clean Reserve Skin, and this is a reserve blend. So look at that dent, look at that dent, okay? So Clean Skin is described as a floral woody musk fragrance for men and women, and it was released in 2016. It has keynotes of praline, musk, salt, tonka bean, and leather. And let me tell y'all, those notes surprised the heck out of me when I was preparing for this video because I was like, what? I don't really get those notes. It's, I don't get the Tonka bean. I don't get the leather. I don't for me. So that just really surprised me when I saw, well, maybe the Tonka bean for sweetness. I don't know. But the leather, I don't have that many fragrances with leather, but I do have a couple with a leather note, suede note. I don't pick that up in this clean reserve skin so let's smell this again <sighs> i love this y'all this smells like a sweet musky aquatic fragrance and the more i was wearing it and and smelling it i do pick up that salt note and it makes me think and don't <laughs> don't take this the wrong way but it makes me think of like good smelling sweat it just, this is the perfect skin. The, this smells, it makes me think of a good smelling person, good smelling skin with a mist of sweat. It has a kind of sexy, clean quality to it because it, that's what it makes me think of. Like a good smelling, good looking person with just bare skin with you know that hint of that mist on you after you've been you know exerting yourself that is what this reminds me of good lord i love this oh it's it's good okay y'all it's good i have been wasting years and years passing this over now i will say when I wore clean, reserved, sparkling sugar, I was scared to death when I got ready to wear skin because I knew I loved this. And I was like, I'm not going to buy this if this only lasts barely an hour. I'm not going to do it. I was, I was scared, y'all. Okay, the fear was real. Because I love this at first sniff. You'll see my reaction to this scent if you watch the video that I put earlier in the cards when I was talking about the haul for these fragrances, I blew my mind. Blew my mind. Clean skin blew my mind. So, as you can see, you have to overspray this. Cause So, I sprayed my body down like this was a doggone fragrance mist. I sprayed my clothes down like this was a fragrance mist. And I got four to six hours where I could still get, I smelled myself, okay? I smelled myself moving, I could smell the scent. I could smell myself for a good, I wanna say the strongest was four hours and then that's, those last two hours, it got weaker. And then towards the end of the day, 
I did touch up and I'm not one who likes to touch up my fragrances. I don't know why. I just feel like they don't, it doesn't ever smell as good as when I first applied it. Just like my lips. I like, I feel like they don't, I, the lip combo or whatever I do, it never looks as good as when I first applied it. That's how I feel about fragrance. It never smells as good as when I, as when I first initially applied the fragrance. So you do have to touch up, but at, as opposed to this one, where I did two or three layers of this because I was like, I don't smell this and I still couldn't smell it. But with clean skin, I did get four to six hours. I could smell myself. I loved it. I definitely want a full bottle of this, full size. It has to be the 3.4 ounce because as you can see, you have to overspray this heavily. And it's like, it's almost like you can't spray too much of these, what I can tell from these clean reserve fragrances. But clean skin, I am definitely getting a full bottle of this. Because like I said, this to me is just sexy. It's like that effortlessly sexy smell because again, you don't smell perfumey. You just smell like the essence of you smells divine, okay? Simply divine. Like, I know some people, I can't remember what it was. I remember watching videos. You could do, take some supplement or do something to where your sweat smell like maple syrup. No, thank you. But if my sweat was smelling like this, and like I said, this reminds me, whoo, child. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Yes, full bottle worthy will be in my collection for show, for show. Love me some clean reserve skin, honey. Love it. All right, y'all. So those were all of my little travel size fragrances that I purchased during the Sephora Spring Sales event that I wanted to go over with you all. You know, I did purchase good girl blush travel spray but i already talked about that one i did purchase the valentino donna born in roma intense travel spray but i'd already talked about that and i did purchase the travel spray of the what is it valentina no versace dylan purple which I, and I'll link that video above where I talked about those fragrances. So that's why I didn't include those because, you know, I'd already done a video on them. But yeah, these are my thoughts. So you, you're up to date on my thoughts on these new uh, fragrances that's new to me and my collection. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me your thoughts on what we what the fragrances and the perfume oil i just talked about i would love to hear y'all's thoughts especially on this doggone sparkling sugar and dolce by rosie j i really want to hear what y'all think of those two fragrances so please leave it in the comment section down below please share this video with everybody y'all because we're trying to get to 10k before the end of may come on help me out y'all and please don't forget to turn on your note of the Cation bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye